Hello, dear friends. Allow me to give you a brief walkthrough of the Rich Content Editor. The concept is not new. And most likely, if you're using either Pages in Mac or Microsoft Word, you would have encountered something similar to what looks like an editor. So in Microsoft Word, this is that portion that I'm referring to where you're, if you're going to enter text, multimedia resources, or links, um, you'll have to go through some of formatting or indenting or uh, embedding uh, either links, uh, video, or even multimedia uh, files. If you're using Pages, the content editor in Pages can also be found to the right of the document. Canvas has something similar, and you will find it on the navigation page on the left side. And anything that needs uh, inputting for text, for, uh, for links, or even multimedia objects, there will always be a content editor uh, across that particular set of uh, features. So you'll find it in Home. Uh, you'll also find it in Announcements. Syllabus has that. Uh, modules also because you're encoding. Uh, when you create discussions and assignments and rubrics, that's there. Uh, grades don't have it. People don't have it also. But when you create, for example, Zoom, that's not going to be found there. But when you put the Zoom link into announcements, uh, the rich content editor shows up. Now, um, you can actually use it more extensively in pages. So if you click that, um, if you have set up your home page already, this will bring you to the front page. But just go to the, the view all pages. And this is where you will find all the pages that uh, you have created and published. So when, once you open uh, a page, the rich content editor shows up. So I've embedded an, an equivalent example uh, here in module zero of the template. And it's called the page to illustrate the rich content editor. And let me just publish that. And when you, when I link it, when I click it, for example, it comes out uh, as a page that you can, that I can view. And so here are some of the functions that are available. So if you click on edit, this is how in Canvas the rich content editor looks like. So there's a space for. Uh, Entering information, second, formatting. So you'll have point size, uh, paragraph, and then you will have uh, emphasis tools. Then you will have colors and shading, uh, superscript and subscript. And then here, you'll be able to link uh, URLs and then images. And then at the same time, you can actually create your own media for this one and upload files. Now here, uh, the other three will be wiki commons and then um, applications approved for sharing and then at the same time integration. Okay, So if you click on the ellipse as well, uh, you'll be talking about uh, alignment and then you will have lists. Then you will also have indent in indenting. No, and then you can insert uh, table. You can insert math equations and then you can also insert or embed codes from the internet. Okay. So some features of the editor, you can insert a header. And when you do that, uh, you can upload an image of the net or you can uh, create your own images. And the ones that have, you have used before can be are stored in course images. So we're going to take a look at, let's say, uh, an assignment or an introduction. And uh, that's it. It's very simple. Second, you can also adjust format and size. So here, um, then you can bring font up or font down. Second is emphasis. You can do bold italics and then you can also underline then you'll have color here under text 
Then you can also highlight it as if you had a highlighter pen. And then uh, for math that requires scripts or superscripts, you can do a superscript and then you can also do a subscript. And then you can put in links as well. So you can look at an external link or a course link. So an external link is probably a site that you want to share to the students on from the internet. And then um, a course link is uh, a link that you can put and direct students to specific parts of Canvas. Okay. So let's say I'm going to do a course link right now. And I want them to go to, let's say, a specific assignment. So it's assignment one. Okay, so that's very handy if you want the students to not go to the uh, to the navigation page on the left. If you don't want them to go here, you can actually direct them to use links uh, to the course. Okay. Next, you want to upload media. So you can either choose, uh, let's say, a course image. You can upload an image. Alright. So once you've uploaded media, this becomes a link. So when the student clicks that, it's available for viewing and for download. You can also upload the document. Uh, you can click that by choosing this portion. So it's something from your laptop or second, you can upload a, a course document. You've used it before and you want to use it again. You can upload it from there. So we want to upload the document. So this one uh, opens. So click Upload File and then choose. Choose, let's say, a slide or a document that you want to upload. Okay. And then click up link, uh, Update. And then this one comes out as a link. And when the student clicks that after saving, after you saving it, um, it appears as a separate window. And then YouTube, for example, can be uploaded in two ways. So you can search for the link. Say you want a, a link on leadership for Simon Sinek, for example. So you can just embed that. All right. And it, be, it begins to show. And then you're looking at integrations. Uh, what are they? Uh, they're actually available resources. So here we have common favorites, commons, uh, resources from Google Drive. Uh, we have a relationship with Harvard Business Review. And so you can actually link articles, um, workbooks, and at the same time simulations from them. And then files from Office 365 and also YouTube. And then uh, when you want to go to bullets, for example, just go to this portion. So I, if you want to present uh, information aside from text, you can actually choose bullets or numbers or letters. So here, we'll just use bullets. And then if you want to indent, uh, you can go to the second portion. Increase indent. If you want to insert a table, let's say a 2 by 2 table. And then an equation editor if you're teaching Instead math. of sharing a link, you can also embed YouTube. So to do that, okay, click on the ellipse and then uh, just go to the cloud function. Okay, there's an embed code there that we will need to take from YouTube. So let's say for this particular file, go to share. And then just click on the embed code. And that's the one. Uh, what's the difference between linking a file or the URL versus embedding? You can actually cause the video to start as, at a specific time. So if it's a long video, for example, and you want to cut out, and you don't want the student to sit through the entire video and only certain sections of it, you can actually make it start at a specific time so let's say one iron and one minute and 30 seconds and then when you copy that
just go to embed and then paste the embed code and the file will will automatically be inserted but it does not play from uh, play point zero zero but one minute and 30 seconds okay so those are the features of the rich content editor and we'll get to explore that them deeper as we proceed through the course thank you